So does the women's bill still have a long way to go? NDTV now brings you some voices from across the nation. There has never been consensus on the bill and no attempt has been made to arrive at a consensus. I mean, you try to rush a bill like this through, it's not going to work. And I think that what happened at the Rajya Sabha is like typical. I mean, there's no point in saying house of shame. I think that's what has been for women all along. You know, the only other place that we've seen this mm -hmm. is in, in panchayat, uh, in, in local self-government and panchayat mm -hmm. elections. And uh, you've seen a massive rise in women's participation. Now, it's going to take some time. These are not things that, you know, you enact today. You've enacted for quite some time now 33% reservation for women in panchayats. And it is going to be a slow process. You will see that phase of uh, a certain class of women being pushed into politics or being backed by husbands, which you have have seen in when it comes to uh, panchayati elections but that is that that is a phase if you if you expect a certain immediate turnover of women participating in political li life out of their own free will and in that that that's not going it's it's never happened with any kind of proactive sort of reservation in for any class whether you're talking about women or whether you're talking about any other kind of minority it's been happening for centuries men always make the decisions for women they keep saying they're doing it for women and they're actually ultimately it seems to me that they scuttle the rights of women. So it is the ego, ego which is inherent in the genetic makeup of men, X, Y, the Y does all the turmoil and therefore it has to come down, it should be modulated, first give the rights and then all these uh, nitty gritties can always be worked out later, I mean that's not a big deal. You... When you start splitting hairs and you start going into details, then there are too many things that crop up. First let us get the cake, then we'll decide what ingredients went into it. I don't think it's fair to have only one gender deciding what happens for the whole country. As women, we obviously we think differently, we tend to understand other women differently, and I don't think men would understand us completely.